everyone just want to make a quick video about these battery packs or rather cells that I bought off eBay from a seller called alarm hookups um, these are the cells I bought a pack of 20 for a really good deal and I'm pretty happy with the purchase uh, out of all 20 cells um, there were zero that were bad um, so that's a good sign I'm planning on buying another set of uh, 20 maybe another 40 we'll have to see how um, the project that I'm going to be working on here develops in the future. Uh, so I also made this video to sort of discuss ways that you can mount these together in different configurations. Uh, for example, the project that I'm working on uh, calls for a 20S configuration. So I designed uh, some plates that uh, should mount to these batteries pretty nicely. And I uh, wanted to share that, so the uh, designs will be in the description. And if anyone watching this, likely not a whole lot of people, um, want any particular configurations uh, such as 10S or 12S, you know, um, just different sizings, let me know. Um, I'll see what I can do. It should just be as simple as me cutting these up. Um, to fabricate these, I just used uh, PETG plastic and a um, 3D printer. They're a little bit more common now than they used to be, so um, I'll share both the STL and the source file uh, that I created in SolidWorks in order for people to make any changes that they want to do. Uh, so how it works is basically uh, the cells will slip into the slots, um, and some are a little bit of a tight fit, but once they're in there, um, they should end right where the thick uh, portion of the pack uh, starts. And this allows for you to get several of these cells really close together. Uh, the spacing between the cells allows for a one millimeter um, average because these packs are a little bit different thicknesses each. Uh, space in between to allow for expansion and then also to allow for airflow if uh, you decide to put fans on uh, the pack, which I did. That's probably not necessary because it's, I mean, I haven't been able to heat up these packs at all. And uh, the project, just to give you an idea, is going to be a go-kart that I'm hoping to push around 30, 35 kilowatts out to the wheels uh, across two motors. Um, so we're talking a significant amount of amperage, uh, continuous, and haven't noticed any sort of heating up yet. Uh, but just in case, I, I figured it'd be uh, better to over-design, and then if I needed to uh, put some better fans on there, it'd be better than completely taking apart the packs. Uh, so the top portion of this uh, just fits on the top, and I basically just been gluing the corners down, uh, just so it allows that if you really need to get the pack apart later on, you just pry out these little edges and it'll pop off, no problem. Once it's together, it'll look something like this. Uh, this has six fans on it. Um, the design that I chose uh, used six fans because if you divide 72 volts by six, you get a 12 volt drop across each fan. And so you don't have to use any resistors in, um, in this part of the circuit. It's just simply a switch to turn it on. Hopefully I'll use logic in the future, but for now, for demonstrations, um, it turns on like this and get quite a bit of airflow out of uh, the sides and the bottom. It should be more than enough to cool, uh, and if it's not, I'm probably doing something wrong with the batteries anyway. Uh, so, like I said, uh, I will link the batteries on eBay. I will also link, uh, probably with a Google Drive, um, all the different files in various formats. If there's something in particular that anyone wants, just let me know, either in the comments or in a private message, and uh, I'll do my best to get it done. 